Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to be looking at the Dex acrylic cards. These were a part of the Metropol Lux campaign. It was a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, it was put out by a gentleman named Mike Lambert. Uh, Mike's uh, out there with MetropolCards.com. And uh, he put out this Kickstarter that was a companion set of playing cards and these acrylic cards. Now the series here, these are called the Dex acrylic cards. Uh, there's a couple of different sets. We're going to show you all of them. Uh, this set started out uh, purely for him as some sort of a decorative way to accompany the, the playing cards. You know, kind of like uh, how people put out laser cut wood cards or metal design cards that come with other decks. He wanted to do uh, these acrylic card sets. And so what happened was over time, this idea kind of morphed into something that he calls a trainer deck. So now this is a trainer deck uh, made of acrylic. And what it is, is it's designed to help Cardis kind of hone and master uh, their skills as they learn cardistry. Uh, you could use them for other things. I don't want to say that they're limited in, in use. You could use them as dealer buttons. You could use them as, as a deck guard. You could use them as those, you know, those really expensive high value poker chips. So just to show you real quick what some of the different options are, uh, you can get a spade deck. These are blue. You can get a hearts deck. These are red. You could get a diamonds deck. These are yellow. You can get a clubs deck. These are orange. There's also a signature deck, which is clear, and a full house deck where you get one of each. And here's each one of the various tech cases uh, front and back. Uh, this is the multi-colored one. Here's the Metropol logo one and clubs, which is orange, diamonds, yellow, hearts, red, and spades, blue. And so since the full house deck has one of each, I want to show you what this looks like real quick. Uh, the front of the tuck case has the Metropol logo, which I assume is kind of like high rises or buildings since Metropol kind of sounds like Metro. Um, it does say that there's a trainer deck on the side. It does say that this is the full house deck. And on the top of the tuck case, it does say MetropolCards.com. Um, the back design shows that there's one of every color inside the tuck case. And just to show you really quick what these look like on the inside, you can see that these are cut from fluorescent acrylic. So it's plexiglass, basically. Um, and when Mike gets these, uh, they've all been laser cut and they've been covered in paper and what he has to do is he has to peel the paper off and then he has to dust and kind of finish off uh, this so that it's nice and smooth and you don't have any of that like plexi dust particles from having been cut and then he has to box them all and then he has to shrink wrap them so he has to physically touch every single one of these um, before they get into his customers hands um, so here's the hearts color you can see how just how stunning the color is and how visually they pop. Here's the diamonds and the spades, which is really cool. And then here is the signature, which is the clear, and it has the Metropol uh, logo there. So, so let's take a closer look at all of these right now. Here is the red heart deck. Here is the blue spade deck. Here is the orange club deck. Here is the yellow kind of green, yellow green <laughs> diamond deck. And last, here is the clear trainer deck. I want to show you what these cards look like in the light. So here's hearts and clubs and spades and diamonds and the Metropol logo. Hey, the positives and negatives on these, I think, uh, first of all, the positives are they're really pretty. You know, they're really well made. The sides are very smooth. The edges and the corners are very smooth. You're not going to find any rough plastic edges. It's not going to feel cheap. Uh, these don't feel uh, like thin pieces of breakable plastic. So another positive is uh, they don't stick. They're not very clumpy. Um, they do slide. If I was going to do a Charlie A cut really slowly for you, um, the, the plastic, when it glides up the other one, uh, it doesn't get stuck or sit there and go, da, 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 you know, like that, and where it would grind against each other. Uh, it's very smooth, and so that, I think, would work great for people um, who are trying to practice their uh, skills. You know, and a positive, again, you know, when you do it Charlier and you're trying to practice, there's this, you know, tendency that when you're doing it, your pinky moves out of the way, and then the cards just, you know, they slide out, and you go, oh, no, and you have cards everywhere. But, you know, you have a trainer deck, you're really only going to drop five cards at the most. You know, and so it makes for something that uh, is very easy to practice your flourishing with. Um, I think a negative uh, for me would be that uh, to make a full deck, 
like this and to have the cards be thick and substantial, you're, you're only getting five cards. So the only flourishes you're gonna learn are the kind that have five um, different packets or less, okay? So you gotta think about moves that have five packets or less. And I think, I'm pretty sure that, you know, even like Sybil, I think has six. So there are a couple of different flourishes, and that's just one, minor, that's just one negative. There's just a couple of flourishes that are gonna be beyond you um, because they involve an extra packet that you're not gonna have. And I suppose the option would be to get a second trainer deck and to add one more plastic piece so that you have six. You know, I think that's, that's certainly a viable option right there. Um, but they're very pretty. Uh, you can head on down to metropolcards.com and check them out. I believe they're only about $16. Hey, so that's pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy and facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.